Hi everyone and welcome along. Today we're going to paint a vase of dahlias. So grab your paints and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to paint some dahlias uh, in, a, in a vase. So I'm going to begin by sort of just picturing where those dahlias are going to be. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting in stems and then either doing a circle or an oval to show where the centre of that flower will be. If the flower is going to be sort of faced up and away we want it as a bit of an oval. If it's facing us a little bit more then it'll be a bit more circular and then of course we also get the buds that come off uh, come off dahlias too so we'll put another one in there and then I'm just going to for now just draw a, a very flat curve that's going to tell me where the top of the vase is going to sit. The vase will be painted in after we've done our dahlias and we're going to now mix up some colours. I'm going to use my size 2 brush to begin painting these dahlias and I've created a colour of a sort of burnt orange using cadmium orange, a bit of yellow ochre and then the sort of secret ingredient is this Alizarin crimson and it's just made a really lovely colour and it's something a little bit different. I'm often painting a lot of pink flowers. There will certainly be pinks in there. Now I'm going to begin with this central one here. Now as I said this is the central point of the flower. It's going to be angled up a bit so we're going to sort of imagine a sort of perimeter. If that's helpful painting in a, a basic perimeter for your flowers then do go for it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in fairly dilute tapered lines for the sort of lower rung of my dahlia petals. Like I said in the size 2 brush and the ones around the back it doesn't really matter if they don't make it all the way into the middle but we just want to keep making sure that these petals are anchored in and that also just helps us see how the other flowers will sort of fit in around it so for one that's coming sort of quite on from the side we're sort of seeing it a bit like that we're now sort of because we're painting in this base layer of petals it might be that it's not always actually the, the, the sort of bottom layer of the flower we're painting it's just the ones we can see so ones from here might actually be a little bit sort of further in in terms of where they've grown out from but we're just creating the shape always anchoring into there and this vase of dahlias is quite sort of tightly packed in there's going to be bleeding and blending uh, an overlap that's absolutely fine but just keep on so I'm gonna have this one kind of angled downwards so Okay. Yeah, but just keep on sort of keeping aware of where the outer rim of like each flower goes. So popping that little pencil boundary in each time is probably really good. And what we're going to be doing is layering up this technique layer by layer getting just a little bit stronger with the colour until we've got lovely full pom-pom like dahlias I'm 
While we wait for those to dry, we can place in the stems and the buds around them because the great thing of once you've established this, you've established how much room they take up. Um, so I've got a bit of uh, sap green mixed with green gold here. And what I'm going to do is just fill in with my size zero brush. Just create the two C curves on the outer edge there. Then clean off my brush and then just allowing for a little bit of unpainted space which creates a little bit of texture and a little bit of shine on these and I'm going to do another so two C curves to get the shape clean your brush off and just play around with what you've got in there allowing for a tiny bit of unpainted space and then I've I just mixed a bit of um, French ultramarine blue into the yellowy green mix. And if there's a little bit of a bleed, yeah, there we go. Quite pleased with that. I'm just uh, going to paint in a stem or two. So we'll get all these painted. I decided in the end to create this one as a bud because we're going to have leaves as well and there's going to be plenty of sort of interest and detail on the flowers themselves. The stems aren't that thin so a size zero brush is absolutely fine. We're going to move back onto the flowers now, so it's it, you're probably going to end up with two jars of water, um, you know, sort of one the red and one the the green for the flowers and leaves. So just um, keep making sure that you're using water that's either clear or is in the colour palette that you're working in. Okay, so we're going to start adding in the next layer of petals. So if we start with the one we began with, I'm going to keep with the size 2 brush and just start as a tiny more tiny bit more concentrated color not too strong so we've got more layers to go um, and some of the petals I quite like doing two brush strokes because you do get a sort of loop the petal kind of curls in on itself and it just looks kind of fun to add that loop to some of them. I do actually have a dahlia tutorial in my book, New Botanical Painting, which if you enjoyed this, then you'll absolutely love because it's full of all sorts of flower projects. It was my first book and um, one I'm extremely proud of and it's a style that I've developed over time where I really like to capture the true essence of a flower. Um, whilst not calling myself a, you know, a botanical artist in the traditional sense, because the the months spent studying plants and and animals and insects as a botanical artist is something that I do not claim to do. Um, but new botanical painting is just a, a phrase that seemed appropriate for the style that I seem to be developing with this sort of controlled, loose approach. So you can see how we're building up the layers of the flowers. And that even goes for the ones that are slightly trickier on their, their sides as well. So we're just gonna keep on building up the layers. And we're just gonna keep going and the petals want to be now a bit shorter than their previous ones and you can see that you must allow the previous layer to have dried. You also might want to start considering a slightly smaller brush. I'm still quite happy with the, um, the size too. The other thing that's starting to happen now is on our side on flowers we're starting to get a, a slightly more slightly more complicated sort of layout because this one here we've got petals that are going to be coming up around the sides from the back 
so we're not going to see the inside of everything so I'm just going to paint the sort of back half of these petals this time round. I'm going to leave this front section until we get to the very end we can add in extra layers but still sort of anchoring your petals to that central point yeah we're getting close we're getting close I'm moving down to a size zero brush and I've added more alizarin crimson into my flower mix um, because I really want to just highlight the changes now the central petals and they're getting smaller and more intense for these ones on the side what it's quite hard to sort of convey but the the center of the flower which even though we've been anchoring it from there the center of the flower is actually going to be quite a lot sort of further up the flower because of course the pom-pom sort of comes out from the from the front as well so these last little petals I'm painting them in sort of further out on the flower and then starting to actually come round the front on some of the more open ones and we'll find the end centre being somewhere further sort of protruding so I'm just going to keep going now with this colour getting more concentrated and getting right into the centre of these flowers I've just added in another little layer just with a little bit more alizarin crimson in the mix but this one here what I'm going to do now is this next layer of petals actually is sort of sitting behind the front layers there so I just want to paint it in as if it's behind the petals I painted previously um, and I'm going to keep adding a bit more alizarin crimson into the mixture and then with my final round I'm going to go right down to a four tenths brush and work in quite a concentrated way I just need to wait for things to dry um, and essentially we're now at the point where we're just filling in little dabs of colour getting closer and closer to the end after what feels like many many layers we've made it into the middle just with a few last little extras of dots if there was any gap and now what I'm going to do is just go back uh, with that slightly more concentrated color and add a few little dashes of color a bit of detail to some of the petals that are further down if any need a bit more sort of definition or popping this uh, more alizarin crimson colour into particularly the outer petals just really helps tie it all together a bit more as a one flower colour. I've also got a slightly darker um, sort of cooler version of this color which was achieved just by mixing in a little bit of French ultramarine blue to the alizarin crimson which is here and what I might just do is 
just a few extra little dots in the center or even bring that out a bit there so now we're just sort of finishing off this detail and really making these flowers look like the wonderful pom-poms and then we can finish off by doing the leaves and the vase now it's time to add in some leaves so I've got some of this darker green um, smaller leaves can just sort of be painted in I've got a size 2 brush here I'm just trying to be quite sort of um, loose and sort of wayward with the brush because they do have an amazing kind of crinkle to them these leaves and the way they they bend and move I'm just going to add a little bit of French ultramarine blue and then because they look like they're kind of tacked on at the moment just taking a little, little brush just add a little bit more of a delicate attachment. Size one brush will also do some nice, I mean not one, size zero. I don't think I've come across a size one brush. I did always used to wonder why it was that you don't get those. I'm sure one of you knows and will be able to tell me. Um, we'll also have some leaves sort of coming up from behind dailies so you just need to get yourself a brush with a nice fine point that can achieve sort of going around the outline and dropping in the little bit of blue to the wetness there really helps And then further down, I'm going to use my bigger brush and place in some leaves. I've got a bit of fluff on the brush there. Then use a bit of the blue to just flick out the sides, get a bit of a serrated edge. The serrated edge is much more obvious on the bigger leaves. Gosh, this brush is in a bit of a bad way. I think I need a new one of these. See, there will come a point where your brushes just give up the ghost a bit. It's just a little bit, a little bit frazzled around the edges. Oh well, good to know. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to fill in a few more leaves and then also little sepals on the uh, on the buds. So I've got my four tenths brush and I'm going to get some nice concentrated sap green and the French ultramarine blue. And just some lovely little squat tapered lines. While I let that dry, I've just drawn in a pencil shape of a vase and I've now got some Burnt Sienna and Payne's Grey, but I've gone a bit heavier on the Burnt Sienna and I've just gone up to my red colours in the palette and just sort of chucked those in as well. And I want to create with my large brush, which is a size 8, just a really nice kind of dark vase so I'm just trying to go quite loosely and use the unpainted space and the water 
and, and just try not to, to manage it too much. I think that's quite nice. And then as we go up towards the neck of the vase, I do need to be a bit more careful now, especially with such a dark colour. In fact, a smaller brush will be good when we get to filling in the petals. So I'll do that now. So just do a little bit of an outline, then get some water on your brush. And maybe a little bit of a dark colour. So just go carefully. It's quite a useful way of being able to tidy up the edges. Always cheat a little bit, and uh, there we go. So, one other thing I do like to do these days, in particular, is add some uh, leaf lines to the sort of larger leaves. You might actually see something on them. So I get my rigger brush be long slender bristles you might be able to see a little bit on these ones I'm just gonna let that all dry 100% and have one last look and see if we can add any shadows or anything like that So I also have rubbed it out of pencil so we can just see everything clearly now. So we're basically at the final stage. So I'm looking down, just sort of finding little areas where we might need to add a stem or just extra little bit of sort of something or other down in there. Just feels like it needs just a little bit more sort of fullness down in behind. And then of course the matter of shadow and things. So that's just a little bit of Payne's Grey. And that's all it really wanted there. But I think a little bit of shadow just on some of the petals would be a great thing. So just very dilute Payne's Grey and it doesn't have to be everywhere but I just think it makes the piece just a little bit more interactive and realistic and remember that shadow always dries a lot lighter with the flowers that are so facing downwards, just placing that on the lower halves. And then last of all, I will just add a little bit more to the vase just where there are items just coming down over the top a little bit on the on the ground there we have a rather epic 
vase of dahlias. I've been asked a lot to paint dahlias and uh, like I said we do have have it in my book New Botanical Painting but it's always fun to revisit. Thanks so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed that one. I want to say a huge thank you to our patrons for their support because that support enables us to keep creating videos like these that everyone can enjoy. And if you enjoyed it then hit the like button and comment below to let me know how you got on with it. And of course if you never want to miss another video hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell and we'll see you again next time. Bye!